Hi, my name is Ashley Butler and I'm going to be showing you how to get started in Hilwert to Music. Back in 2012, I went on Britain's Got Talent with my dog Pudsey. We then went on to win the show and have performed around the country and the world on stages and TV shows, including Crufts. Unfortunately, Pudsey has passed away, but I still get to perform with my other dog, Sully. Good boy, well done. Let's get started. Hillwork to Music is where you choreograph a routine to music for you and your dog. There are two different categories, Hillwork to Music and Freestyle. Hillwork to Music is where the majority of the routine has to involve obedience hillwork. Freestyle is where you can put anything into the routine that you think is appropriate and that follows Kennel Club rules. Are you thinking about getting started in Hillwork to Music? Well, here are some of the things you need to know. All dogs, pedigrees and crossbreeds can compete in Hillwork to Music. In order to compete at a Kennel Club licensed competition, your dog will need to be registered with the Kennel Club's activity or breed register. Start basic obedience training as soon as possible. This will help with your relationship and their focus on you. It's important to keep reinforcing and strengthening all of your training. Train in different environments to make sure that your dog becomes familiar with distractions. It's a joint performance, so practice your moves and your routine just as much as training your dog. Most importantly, Hillwork to Music is all about teamwork. So build a strong relationship with your dog and have fun together. I train my dogs using a clicker. I break each move down and teach them separately. It's important to explore all the different positive training methods to find out which one works for you and your dog. We're going to show you some of those moves now. So we're now going to do a spin. So Sully can spin clockwise and he can spin anti-clockwise. Close, good boy. And then back, good boy. Once more, close and back. Good boy, well done. So I teach this with a treat in my hand. So if I want him to go clockwise, I use my left hand, okay? So treat in the left hand. I bring him round in a circle, wait for him to come in front, click and treat. Good boy. If I want him to go anti-clockwise, I have the treat in my right hand. Good boy, well done. Exactly the same, round in that circle, wait for him to come in front, click and treat. The next move we're going to teach our dogs is a leg weave. So I'll show you with Eliza first of all. Ready, legs, yes, legs, good girly, legs, nice. Legs, good girl, legs, good girly, well done, clever girl. So when I am teaching the movement to Eliza, she clearly likes her toys, but I revert back to treats, so it slows her down and gets that control into her. Ready, Eliza, come, good girl, well done. So I start with treats in both of my hands and my legs shoulder width apart. I bring the dog through, round the back, click and treat. Through, click and treat. Through, click and treat. Good girl, well done. If I want to make the move more complicated, then I add walking forwards to it, okay? Ready, go round. Yes, legs, good girl, legs, nice, legs. Good girl, legs, good, legs. Good girly. A really complicated movement is reverse walking. So we'll give you a demonstration first of all. Ready, Sally? Ready, steady, and walk, walk, walk. Good boy, walk, walk, walk. Good, good boy, well done. So I teach this with a treat in either hand, it does not matter. I start with the dog in front of me, and just on their nose, ready? So I rock backwards because I want the dog to come into me. Brilliant, well done. And then I rock forwards, click and reward, okay? To start off with, all I want is maybe one or two steps, tiny movements. Rock backwards, good, and then rock forwards. Click and reward, good boy, well done. To make this move even more advanced, I would teach the dog to get that distance, okay? Ready, walk, 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 good boy, walk, walk, Go, good boy, clever lad, well done. That is reverse walking. 
When you feel ready to enter a Hillwork to Music competition, you need to pre-enter. You will be judged on content and flow of the routine, accuracy in team performance, and musical interpretation. Sully and I will show you one of our routines now that suits both of our styles. I've taken you through the basics of Hillwork to Music. It's now time for you to go find your local Kennel Club registered Hillwork to Music Club. Don't forget there's loads more advice on the Kennel Club's website, including how to qualify your dog in Hillwork to Music at Crufts. That's all from me. Check out the Kennel Club's social media channels for more videos. Bye!